a very good afternoon and welcome everyone to today's course that is physics 1 this course is generally made for undergraduate level btech degree students myself gopal chakraborty assistant professor department of physics greater kolkata college of engineering and management baloipur you can meet me personally at college premises ground floor physics lab you can also send me a mail regarding your query or doubt related to this topic at my given mail address that is god physics6 at the rate gmail dot com and gopal dot chakraborty underscore g k c e m at the rate j i s group dot o r g you can also subscribe my youtube channel for more educational videos i have already uploaded lots of video regarding your physics 1 course as per the syllabus of macout so for this today's course i am the subject teacher now the corresponding course pages are www.macoutexam.net and www.macoutwb.ac.in you can also found the syllabus is already uploaded in the university website the course of this title is physics 1 the subject code is bsph101 it is under the category of basic science course and it has a credit for three lecture per week and one tutorial per week so uh, this course is generally made for btech degree students of first year so those are coming from after passing 10 plus 2 level and taking admission for the btech degree they have to study this course for their first year so uh, computer science civil and mechanical department students will going to study this course for odd semester and alternatively electrical and electronics department students will going to study this course in the even semester now the topic i will going to cover today is wave equation for charge free conducting medium attenuation constant skin depth pointing vector and pointing theorem so uh, this topic is also under the module 3 that is electromagnetism and dielectric magnetic properties of material prerequisite for this course are elementary idea of electrostatics and dielectrics and fundamental idea of vector calculus course objectives are idea about wave equation for good conductor pointing theorem and pointing vector so after the completion of this course students will able to know the characteristic of electromagnetic wave equation for good conductor they will also able to calculate different problem on electromagnetic theory so uh, these are the corresponding outcome of this course so before starting today's class i want to remind you that 
in my last two video i have already discussed about the maxwell's equation starting from faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction so maxwell's equation and its physical significance for different cases i have also derived the wave equation for charge free space so before starting today's topic if you has missed those class uh, please go through that video lecture once again because you need the idea of maxwell's equation its physical significance and corresponding derivation to a uh, derive the wave equation for conductor uh, because in my last video that is second video of maxwell's equation there i have derived the wave equation for charge free space so the basic idea will be always same how you will derive that wave equation so here also i will show you step by step how today's class will discuss in details the derivation of wave equation for a good conductor now the wave equation for charge free conducting medium so how you will derive this wave equation so first of all you need to know what will be your maxwell's equation for charge free conducting medium so for a uh, charge free conducting medium you can write your maxwell's equation as delta d equals to rho this is the first equation second equation is delta b equals to zero third equation is del cross e equals to minus of del b del t so uh, if you substitute the value of b so you will get minus of mu naught del h del t now the fourth equation will be del cross h equals to del d del t plus j so j is the conduction current density having a value sigma e and d equals to epsilon naught e del d del t term represent the displacement current density now here uh, the d is the displacement vector b is the magnetic field induction e is the electric field uh, and mu naught is the permeability for free space and epsilon naught is the permittivity for free space sigma is the conductivity so here what i have considered mu r relative permeability that value is equals to 1 so this the this is the maxwell's equation for charge free conducting medium now i was going to solve you that how you find out the wave equation now uh, those who have uh, gone through the second video maxwell's equation and the derivation of wave equation for free charge free space so for them it will be very easier to understand that because what we have done in my last video we have starting with maxwell's equation number three when we are going to find out the wave equation for electric field and then substitute the value of equation 4 after taking curl on the both side and you have know that when you are going to find out the wave equation for magnetic field so what we have done we have again taking the curl of Maxwell's equation for both side and then we substitute the value from Maxwell's equation number 3 so the process is almost same and you will get the wave equation so here also as we know the four equation Maxwell's equation are there for the charge free good conductor so uh, here I will apply the same procedure that means we will take the 
curl of equation number 3 to find out the wave equation for electric field. You can see here, uh, taking curl of Maxwell's equation number 3 will give you del cross del cross E that is equals to minus of del LD of del cross B. In left hand side, applying the formula, we get del of del dot E minus of del square E. So, uh, Maxwell's first equation with the assumption that free charge density is zero, so that means which represent del rho is equal to zero, that means del dot E is zero. So, the first term of this above equation will go to 0. So, what we will find? We will find minus of grad square E that is equals to minus of del del T of del cross B. Now, uh, if we substitute the value of H that means B equals to mu naught H and if you substitute the value of H, what we will get? you will get del square E that is equals to del del T of del cross B because the minus sign will cancel out from both sides and you will find mu naught epsilon R epsilon naught del to E del T square plus mu naught sigma that is equals to del E del T. So, uh, the first order time derivative is proportional to the conductivity, this act as a damping term uh, for wave in conductors. So, uh, this is how you will find out the wave equation for charge-free conductor. So, uh, here what I have derived the wave equation for electric field. So, uh, if you want to find the wave equation for magnetic field, uh, you just substitute the value of E with H because you just you can replace that value because uh, when you are going to find out the Maxwell's equation uh, from Maxwell's equation to the magnetic field H. So, uh, you have to start with the fourth Maxwell's equation, then you have to take the curl over it and then substitute the value of third Maxwell's equation will give you the ultimate differential equation for magnetic field. So, which can be represented as similarly with our electric field that is equals to del square h that is equals to mu naught epsilon r epsilon naught del 2 h del t square plus mu naught sigma del 2 h del t. So, these are the two wave equation for charge free conducting medium. Now, uh, after knowing the differential equation you need to solve this differential equation. From there, you may find out some condition. So, uh, the solution can be written as an attenuated, attenuated plane wave. So, uh, that is E x along x direction, E x equals to E naught e to the power i omega t minus beta z e to the power minus alpha z. Substituting this value into the modified uh, wave equation, what you will get? You will get minus i beta minus alpha whole square whole into E naught that is equals to mu naught epsilon r epsilon naught i omega whole square into E naught plus mu naught sigma i omega into E. So, equating the uh, real and imaginary path, what we will get? We will get minus of beta square plus S alpha square that is equals to minus of mu naught alpha of alpha naught omega square. 
because 2b alpha is equals to mu naught alpha omega for a good conductor with a uh, sigma conductivity that is mass much less or uh, much much greater than epsilon r epsilon naught into omega so from there we can write alpha equals to beta that is equals to uh, under root mu naught sigma omega whole divided by 2 so this is the uh, alpha and beta so and this is the above solu solution represent you the differential equation for wave equation uh, for charge free conducting medium for a perfect conductor alpha uh, is tends to uh, for a perfect conductor it's a sigma is tends to infinity so there are no waves and e value electric field value that will be equals to zero next point that is skin depth uh, the diagram is here a good conductor that I have considered and the electromagnetic wave is coming out uh, so the diagram within that graph will show you how it is exponentially decay so uh, the attenuation length in a conductor is known as the skin depth so skin depth can be also defined as the value uh, of depth or uh, length where the initial value is decreased 1 by e times of its uh, 1 by e times it is decay so uh, the value now it will be 1 by e of initial value the skin depth for a good conductor that means for all meter uh, that value is uh, del should be equals to 10 centimeter at voltage 50 hertz that is main frequency and del equals to 10 micrometer that is very small at v equals to 50 megahertz radio waves the expression of del that will be equals to 1 by alpha that means it has a value under root 2 by mu naught sigma omega so high frequency waves are rapidly attenuated in good conductors practical application of these for RF shielding of sensitive equipment against external source of electromagnetic wave now the next topic that is magnetic field of plane wave the magnetic field of a plane wave in a good conductor can be found using Maxwell's equation 4 so um, del of hy by del z that is equals to that means magnetic field intensity with respect to uh, position change in position that will be equals to minus of sigma e x that is equals to uh, minus sigma e naught e to the power i of omega t minus a z e to the power minus a z so mm, here what we have substituted we have substituted the value of electric field e which is e x equals to e naught e to the power alpha e to the power i into omega t minus alpha z so where we neglect the term in the wave equation proportional to epsilon and r that is directly constant or relative permittivity so uh, h y that will be equals to sigma e naught whole divided by 1 plus i into alpha into uh, e to the power i of omega t minus of alpha z into e to the power minus of alpha z so uh, calculating and rearranging we get h naught 
into the power i into within bracket omega t minus alpha z uh, minus pi by 4 into e to the power minus alpha z. Now, uh, if you can take the note that there is a phase shift of pi by 4 uh, between e and h. The amplitude ratio uh, depends on the ratio of sigma and omega, where sigma is the conductivity and omega is the frequency. So H naught by E naught, that value will be equals to under root uh, sigma by mu naught omega. In a good conductor, S H naught is greater greater than E naught, and they are no longer related by the C. Now, uh, the reflection at a conducting surface. We just consider the case of normal incidence. The incident waves has E one equals to E naught one e to the power i within bracket omega t minus k1 x into x cap. So uh, e1 is the electric field along the direction of x and it has a value that is given here. Similarly, the magnetic field induction that vector b uh, suffix i that is equals to e naught 1 by c into e to the power i into omega t minus k1 x into y cap. The reflected wave has er. So er is the expression of reflected wave. er will be equals to e naught r uh, e to the power r into omega t plus k1 x into x cap. And the magnetic field that is reflected, that is B suffix R, that is equals to E0 R by C, E to the power I into omega T plus K1 X whole into Y. The uh, transmitted wave inside the conductor has a E transmitted, that is equals to uh, E naught T, E to the power uh, I into whole omega T minus alpha Z, uh, E to the power minus alpha Z into X cap. And B T, that is also the uh, transmitted wave equation for magnetic field, that value will be equals to alpha by omega into 1 plus uh, i within bracket 1 minus i within bracket uh, e to the e naught r t e to the power i into omega t minus alpha z whole into y cap. For a perfect conductor er equals to 0 and the wave is completely neglected. Now, uh, the boundary condition at conducting surface. Uh, from H tangential, that means magnetic field intensity for tangential, uh, 1 by mu naught into B naught 1 minus mu naught R, uh, that is equals to 1, my mu naught, 1 by mu naught into B naught T. So, uh, we are under root epsilon naught into E naught 1 uh, minus E naught R that is equals to under root sigma by uh, 2 omega into 1 minus I within bracket into E naught T. So, from E tangential we can write uh, e naught i plus e naught r that is equals to e naught t that means e tangential. The uh, reflected amplitude will be e naught r divided by e naught 1 which is the induced one so that is equals to minus of uh, in the upper one that is under root sigma plus 2 epsilon uh, naught whole into 1 minus i minus 1. And similarly, uh, from the lower part, that is uh, under root sigma by 2 epsilon naught into 1 minus i plus 1. So, uh, this negative sign 
gives a phase change phi, uh, phase change pi on reflection from a conductor. Again, you have to know uh, the radiation pressure. The reflection coefficient can be represented as r equals to e naught r square by e naught i square. So uh, that hello will, will be equals to uh, one minus two into under root. 2 omega epsilon naught by sigma. So as for a good conductor that sigma conductivity that value is very very greater than 2 omega epsilon naught when uh, so r tends to 1. Uh, a metallic surface uh, is a good reflector of electromagnetic waves. The reflection reverses the direction of pointing vector that is n equals to e cross h uh, which measure energy flux there is a radiation pressure on a conducting surface that value is equals to capital P equals to 2 uh, bracket within n by C that is equals to epsilon naught uh, epsilon naught e naught square now, how we we'll calculate what will be the power distribution in skin depth? The transmission coefficient is initially uh, t equals to e naught t square by e naught 1 square. That value should be equals to 2 under root 2 omega epsilon naught by sigma. But this rapidly attenues uh, away within the skin depth. So power is uh, dissipated in the conduction current that means dp dt that is equal to je that is equal to sigma mod of e square. The average uh, averaging and integrating over the screen depth that gives us dp dt dp da that is equals to minus of del by 2 under root 2 sigma omega epsilon naught e naught square into i e naught square so which is basically the induced electric field so that all is equals to epsilon naught e naught 1 square into c so these results balance the radiation pressure uh, now, I uh, will going to discuss that conservation of electromagnetic energy because uh, as we know from the laws of conservation of energy, energy neither be created nor be destroyed. So here also conservation of energy law is not violated. So the power transfer to a charge moving with velocity V is P equals to F dot V. So from the Coulomb's law, you can substitute F value that is equal to Q into E. In terms of current density J, that is equal to N into E into V. So P will be volume integral J dot E into D tau, where D tau is the infinite symbol volume. So we can use uh, Maxwell's equation 4 to replace the value of conduction current density J. So uh, the volume integral J dot E d tau that can be represented as volume integral E dot del cross H minus E del D del T over d tau. So these first terms can be rearranged using uh, del dot e cross h that is equals to h dot del cross e minus e into del cross h. So uh, the Maxwell's third equation can be used to replace del cross e and that value will be volume integral j dot e d tau 
that is equals to minus of volume integral del dot e cross h plus e del d del t plus h del b del t whole over d tau. So uh, the integral over the volume d tau can be removed to give in local energy conservation. So uh, g dot e that is equals to minus of within bracket uh, del dot n plus del u del t plus del u m by del t. So where g dot e that terms represent power dissipated in current and the ch next del dot e cross h that term represent the change in energy flux is uh, the divergence of pointing vector and the time variation of electric field energy density is uh, del of d dot e by del t and the time variation of magnetic field that will be the energy density del of b dot h by del t. So uh, the point next point that is pointing the vector. So when electromagnetic wave travels in space it carries energy and energy density is always associated with electric fields and magnetic fields. The rate of energy travels through uh, per unit area therefore the amount of energy flowing through per unit area in the perpendicular direction to the incident energy per unit time is called pointing vector. Mathematically it can be represented as capital P with a vector sign that is equals to E cross H or that is equals to E cross B by mu. So this is the pointing vector. Uh, no, so the last point that is pointing theorem. Pointing theorem states that the net power flowing out of a given volume V is equal to the time rate of decrease of stored electromagnetic energy in that volume decreased by the conduction losses. Therefore, the total power leaving the volume that will be equal to rate of decrease of standard stored electromagnetic energy minus ohmic power dissipated due to motion of the charge. So, uh, the integration surface integral of P dot dS that is equal to uh, minus of volume integral del U del T over dV minus of volume integral E dot J into dV. Uh, the, in this equation, integration of P dot dS corresponding the amount of electromagnetic energy crossing the closed surface per uh, second or the rate of flow of quantum uh, outward charge energy though the surface is enclosing the volume uh, v therefore it is the pointing vector in terms volume integral del u del t dv or del del t of volume integration half mu h square plus half epsilon e square whole into dv the terms half mu h square and half epsilon e square it represents uh, the energy stored in electric and magnetic fields respectively and their sum denotes the total energy stored in electromagnetic field. So the total terms gives the rate of decrease of energy stored in volume V due to uh, electric and magnetic field. The last term volume integral E dot J dV gives the rate of energy transfer into the electromagnetic field. So this is your pointing theorem and the physical significance of each term. Uh, you may co consider this as a reference book. These are the very important books. Uh, the evaluation process is the same. You have to appear for a in semester exam for 70 marks and internal exam for 30 marks. So, uh, with this video lecture, 
I have completed the chapter Maxwell's equation from electromagnetic theory as per your syllabus. So hope all of you have understand and enjoyed my video lectures. Thank you.